Ladies and gentlemen, today we've got something unusual. We've got two similar vehicles of different vintages. To my left is the 2013 Forerunner Limited, and to my right is the 2014 Forerunner Limited. And as you can tell, the front ends are different, but the drivetrain and the chassis are identical, supposedly. So we're going to test these from 0 to 60 to make sure that's the case. And that is coming up next on the Fast Lane Car. So let's just make sure that these are the identical power plants. These four liter six cylinders put out 270 horsepower and 278 pound feet of torque. And they're made it to a uh, five speed automatic transmission that feeds all four wheels. Okay, now which one goes where? I'm kind of confused. Um, yeah. Huh. Uh, maybe like that. Yo, yo, Andre, Andre, uh, uh, what are you doing, dude? Yeah, I got all this uh, load. Cool. You doing the uh, trailer hitch for the boat? Yeah, yeah. Do you, know, do you know what the towing rating on this is? No, I don't know. You don't know. It's 5,000 pounds. So? Yes, do you know how much the boat weighs? 5,700. Yeah, 5,700. Do you know how much I weigh? Uh. <laughs> Okay, I'm in the 2013 model. Let's start with this one first. I've got the eco mode off. I've got it in sport mode. Let's see if we can go under 10 seconds. That might be a tall order for a pretty tall traditional SUV. Give it some gas and for it. Here we go. Come on, Forerunner. Come on, come on, come on. It's going to be close. And there is 60. Oh, check this out. Check this out. 10.17, 10.17. So I didn't break 10 seconds, but uh, you know, it was okay. I'm kind of curious to see what happens if I toggle this truck into eco mode and do it in drive. So there's an eco mode with this old one that you can turn on. I'm going to do that right now. Eco mode on. I'm going to put it in drive. I want to do one more 0 to 60 in eco mode and see if it actually changes it. I'm betting once again that the computer is smart enough to know that I want all the beans when I give it all the beans. And the verdict is, here we go. Oh yeah, that was so much slower. My gosh, a tenth of a second. <laughs> I don't think it really matters. I think when you floor it, the computer says, this guy wants all the beans and it gives you all the beans. The 2014 model to my right is a little more expensive at 47000 2013, 44,000. Of course, this does have a third row seat. It also has these little aerodynamic widgets right here in the back, and of course, here as well to help clean up the airflow to make it more fuel efficient. Of course, this is very unfuel efficient, the antenna. But perhaps the biggest difference besides the grill of these two models are the projector beam headlights, in my opinion. If you're into headlights, then get the 2014 because the projector beams, I think, look a lot cooler than the original and standard 2013 models. All right, as always, a mile above sea level, I have the 2014 model in sport mode. I'm wondering if it'll be fast in the 2013 model. I'm going to give it a little bit of juice and just let it go. There we go. Now, these cars are extremely capable off-road. On-road, 
they're not bad. Let's see if they're fast. And there we have it. 60. Oh my. Read it and weep. 10.29, which is, you know, on the slow side. If you were at sea level, you could probably subtract a second or two, maybe a second and a half from that time. But nevertheless, it's not exactly uh, scorching the pavement. But, you know, this is a very capable off-roader, and if you look at it with that yardstick, it's respectable. Ten point two two, ten point two two on the second attempt. A little bit faster, but you know what? Uh, call it ten, and we're even. Well, that was completely and utterly unsurprising. Who would have thought you'd have results like that? <laughs> As always, this is Roman reporting for the Fast Lane Car. Check out tflcar.com for all your news, views, and automotive reviews. Ciao, and see you next time. This is the 2014 Toyota 4Runner Trail. All right, I get that. So how are we going to compare them? Well, I say we do a menage a tug. <laughs>